the amiable? Is he handsome? He's single. I believe so. Oh, my goodness. Everybody behave naturally. Mr. Collins, at your service. In an era when marrying a rich man was the most a woman could hope for, Elizabeth Bennet was way ahead of her time. I singled you out as the companion of my future life. Sir, I cannot accept you. Don't worry, Mr. Collins. Tell her you insist upon them marrying. Oh, please. You will have this house. I can't marry them. And save your sisters from destitution. You cannot make me. <laughs> from Jane Austen. The beloved author of Emma and Sense and Sensibility. That is Mr. Darcy. He looks miserable, poor soul. Miserable he may be, but poor he most certainly is not. Do you dance, Mr. Darcy? Not if I can help it. What on earth have you done to poor Mr. Darcy? I have no idea. I do not have the talent of conversing easily with people I have never met before. Perhaps you should practice. May I have the next dance, Miss Elizabeth? It would be most inconvenient since I've sworn to loathe him for all eternity. You may. <gasps> He's so rich. By heavens, the snob you are. This fall, Focus Features presents the story of a modern woman. Mr. Darcy is engaged to my daughter. Do you think this union can be prevented by a young woman of inferior birth? Who discovered the one person she cannot stand is the one man she may not be able to resist. Can you expect me to rejoice in the inferiority of your circumstances? From the first moment I met you, your arrogance made me realize that you were the last man in the world I could ever marry. Do you not think him a handsome man? Yes, I guess he is. From the producers of Bridget Jones's Diary and Love Actually. He's been a fool, but then so have I. We are all fools in love. Kira Knightley, Matthew McFadden, Brenda Blevin, Donald Sutherland, and Judy Dench. You have bewitched me, body and soul. I thought you didn't like him. So did I. So did we all. Pride and Prejudice.